Hello everyone, this will be a video of the Gentex SHG. What variant of the SHG this is, I'm not completely sure. I'll have to show you why in a little while. But this is what I do know. This is an early 1990s version. I think this is the first generation version, by the way. One of the ways I can tell this it's from this era is, quite simply, the strobe design. Now if you may notice, right here, if you take a look at the middle of the strobe, right here, okay, let me see if I got a focus, there we go. If you see, I'm slowly turning it, if you notice, it looks kind of big in there. Well, believe it or not, that's a magnifier. So basically the strobe solely relies on this magnifier to get, its, to get amplified, so there's a bright enough light. I don't know if the strobe directly relies on that. It's not a person, but yeah, whatever. Now if we take a look in there, there's the strobe tube. There's no mirror in there whatsoever. And if we take a look here, you can kind of see the magnifier. Yeah, I know that looks cool. Eh, I can't get a good view of it. Yeah, you can kind of see how strobe how small the strobe tube actually is in there. Uh-oh. These things do not want to stay up at all. Now let's take a look at an alarm I got already. As you can see, here's my ceiling mount version. Now this is also from the early 1990s. As you can see, this relies on magnification technology to amplify the power of the strobe. So if we take a look in there, you can kind of see the strobe tube. You can kind of see how it looks bigger already. Let me focus that. Now I'm just going to set this aside and show you how, how it works in the back. Let me just get this out of the way. So if we zoom in here, this is where the interesting stuff is. This right here are your terminals right here. Now this is where it gets interesting. This right here. This is your jumpers right here. The one to the far left basically dictates whether or not the horn goes in a continuous pattern or a march time pattern. So right now this would be in a continuous pattern. If I remove the jumper, this would be in the march time pattern. Now what about these two right here? Well, quite simply, these dictate whether or not the horn and the strobe are run either by a single pair of wires or two pairs of wires. So right now, there's two jumpers in here, allowing the device to be run over a single pair of wires. If I remove these, the, the strobe would have to be powered by a single pair of wires, and the horn would have to be powered by, by a single pair of wires. So basically, a four-wire setup. Now this is the cover I was talking about on the back of this device. As you can see, there is supposed to be a cover. Whoops, that was upside down. Now here's a cover that's supposed to cover up the circuitry right here. If I pull this off on this device right here, this would just basically expose the, the jumpers right here. And that's about it. And this also has the information about the device right here. So you can see there's the voltage information right there and there's the model number right down there but we're not going to focus on this particular device today the start of the show is the wall mount version so there you go and these things do not want to stay up at all so first I'm going to power up the strobe of the device as you recall, I was talking about how there's jumpers and you got to remove them to independently control either the horn and the stroke. So I got those two jumpers removed. So let's see what happens in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, let's do a lights out test. Pretty straightforward. And this is actually bright for an early 1990s stroke. 
Let me tell you that. Let me turn off the room lights. All right. Let's shut that off. Now we're going to power the horn of the device. Now I got the horn terminals hooked up. So let's see what happens. No strobe action just yet. So first I'm going to test it in continuous. So here we go. Now that was pretty straightforward. Now let's do it in March time. So basically all I gotta do is remove this one jumper right here, this one right here, and let's see if I could remove it. I may have to cut the camera. Okay, seems to be going good. By the way, the power is off, so I can do that. All right, let's now do it in March time. So in five, four, three, two, one. I'm not going to lie, that does sound pretty cool. So now it's time to have both the horn and the strobe go. Like I said uh, before, you have to have those two jumpers in to uh, power the horn and the strobe over a single pair of wires. Well, that's basically what I did. I just reinserted those jumpers. Now, for the horn portion, I will be doing this in March Time Horn. I just think it sounds so cool, and it breaks it up a little bit, too. So, here we go. And that's enough of that. Now to activate the SHG with a pulse station, I will be using the Firelight PG-10L. Well, why not? I used it with the original SHG, so might as well give this SHG the same treatment. So, let's pull it. Oh, by the way, the horn's still going to be in March time. So, here we go. Don't mind me, I just gotta keep this up with my finger. This does not want to stay up at all. Here we go. Let's reset this. Stick the key in. And basically open it up. And reset like that. Now obviously if this were on a panel setup this would still be going until I go and silence the panel and it eventually reset. It. Now let's key it this time shall we? So we stick the key in and we just simply open up the pole station. So hopefully you can see me doing this.
And there's, uh oh, <laughs> that was bound to happen. And there's that. And might as well let that happen too. So I hope you enjoyed this video of the Gentex SHG, whatever it is. It's 24 volts apparently, so it would be SHG 24. It's a very unique alarm, I will say that. I like the tone of it. It can be a little bland and loud, but the March Time horn is pretty cool. Something you do not commonly see with electronic horns. Normally it would be either continuous or temporal. But this has March Time, so that is awesome. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and that will be it.